good lawyer and I want to win. I killed JT. <gasps> One trial away from becoming a household. Don't ignore it. I think I love it, love it. Oh, I suggest you take some of that bass out your voice, homie. Always bet on Jax. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Say what's real TV. Here to let you know that our girl Jax is back. We are finally getting season two of Reasonable Doubt. It premieres Thursday, August 22nd on Hulu with two brand new episodes. If you haven't already watched season one, you have plenty enough time to go back and binge watch because the finale of season one left us with a cliffhanger that will probably be the main court case for this new season. So when we get into the trailer for season two, it looks as if we pick up exactly where we left off with Jax on her morning run trying to clear her mind from all the stuff she had to endure just days prior. When she gets a phone call from Chanel, one of her best friends, telling her she just unalive JT. And quiet as it's kept, knowing how JT was, we're not even mad about it. Now coming off the heels of everything that we know that Jax has just gone through, I'm quite sure she hasn't had time to process anything or get her mind right. But as ambitious as she is, she's not going to allow her friend to sit in jail. So we know that Jax will put more on her plate to get her friend out of this situation. So we hear her in the trailer say she's going to bring in some help. It's a defense attorney who's one step away from being a household name, something kind of like a Johnny Cochran type. And we see who this guy is. They call him Corey Cash. I call him my baby daddy. None other than Morris Chestnut being added to the cast for season two. And I'm like Crystal. I love it, love it. Yes, God. So we know that Jax and Lewis in season one, they were separated. They were still co-parenting. We know that they still love each other, but they had a lot going on. Lewis offered up an ultimatum. Jax wasn't having it. So a lot of things took place and some feelings got hurt and divorce was even thrown out there. But after all was said and done by the end of season one, they were willing to give it a go if counseling was involved. So here in the trailer, we see them attempting to work on their marriage by going to couples therapy. So we get a clip of Jax and Lewis in a bed and it looks like Lewis is sound asleep. But Jax looked like she just found out some information and looking at Lewis like what the hell. But one thing I wanted to note in this particular clip is Lewis has his hand bandaged up. And I'm wondering what happened with that. Did he get into a fight with someone? Because we know how Jax can get. Which brings me to another part of the trailer where we see Corey kind of going in on Jax about this case and how they need to stick to the plan. And he sounds like he's being very passionate about it when Lewis steps in and lets him know he needs to take some of that bass out of his voice. Now, I must say I was a little impressed with Lewis in that clip, but I'm going to need him not to give Corey too much, okay? So in the next clip, we see Chanel, we see her cousin Sally, Autumn, Jax. They're all there showing moral support to her, letting her know they're going to be there for her no matter what. Now, with this little quick snippet, it's hard to tell if Chanel is out on bond or if she's actually free from the case. But I must say, I do like their little sister circle dynamic. Hopefully, we can get more on Autumn and Sally. We didn't get too much of them in season one. We got more of Chanel and JT and their whole situation and her strained relationship with Jax. So in the next clip, we see Jax hotter than fish grease going off on Lewis, telling him how can she believe anything he has to say. And as he's standing there looking like a deer caught in headlights, I'm wondering, did Jax find out about that little slime bucket Tony, the one he met picking up the kids and later saw her at JT's party? Now, unless Lewis flat out lied when asked the question and then Jax was later blindsided, I really don't feel like she can be mad at him because we all saw the shenanigans that Jax had going on. So come on now. But Tony is the type of person that will sleep with your man, know who you are and skin and grin in your face later on. And that's exactly what she did. She was also sleeping with JT and had the nerve to be all up and through Chanel's house at their kid's birthday party, skinning and grinning in that lady's face. Tony is a messy bird. But when it comes to Jax and Corey working together, both of them give that they always want to win. Jax, we know for a fact, is stubborn. Corey gives off a little cocky and arrogant. So I'm quite sure the two of them are going to bump heads. And the real question is, will that be the only thing they're bumping? Because we know a fine man hate to see Jax coming because she ain't never scared. Which brings me to this clip in the trailer. Jax, what is this? Girl, now Jax, now you know you trying it. 
But Corey, he's standing on the wall looking sad and depressed like he lost his best friend. Is this like the breakup hug? Like, what's going on? You leaned all your body all the way up into his chest and he wrapped his big strong arms around you with his big hand all up in your back. And it's given very passionate. It gives that somebody has some kind of feelings involved somewhere. Now, I'm going to try to give Jax a chance, but I know it's going to be hard. Just looking at Corey, I can see how you won't stand a chance, sis. And with that being said, it brings me to the last clip of the trailer that I want to talk about. We get an emotional scene between Jax and Lewis, and he's telling her that she doesn't want to be with him, but that's not going to stop him from loving her. He's crying, she's crying. He ends up walking off from her like, damn, what happened? It's just way too much going on and the season has yet to start. Is this the end of their marriage? Will they get Chanel off on this big case? She's claiming self-defense. The prosecutor is saying that it was a straight up unaliving. Will they win? Will Jax and Corey have some type of personal relationship? These are some of the questions that we need answers to like ASAP. So feel free to drop down in the comments if you have any predictions for season two, if you have any expectations, things that you would like to see that we didn't get a chance to see in season one. For me, it was Jax meeting her dad. Like she was waiting on him at the bar, excited to see him when Mama Lou come rushing in there because she intervened and Jax was highly upset. So I really was expecting her dad to pop up at some point in time throughout the season and he never did. So I wonder if in season two she will get that chance to actually see him and have a conversation and see where they can go with their relationship. So that's it, you guys. That's all I have for now. I just wanted to come through real quick and give you a reminder that the show is getting ready to start back up. Again, if you have not watched season one already, Hulu is streaming all nine episodes now. You have plenty enough time to binge watch. So get your popcorn ready, get your wine ready, whatever it is you need. Thursday, August 22nd, Reasonable Doubt season two on Hulu will be giving us two brand new episodes. So don't meet me there, beat me there, and I'll see you then.